Certified, sponsored by ISO It First. Another series of certified. I'm Lisa Mafia, and unfortunately, this is the finale. Yes, sad times. And I've been lucky enough to get a very brief but exclusive quick hello from the Mr. Amazing Mostert. Bop, 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 bop. Woo, 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 woo. Now, this is, this is like, wow. I cannot believe I've been lucky enough to get two seconds of you. Unfortunately, guys, I did have Mostek booked, mm. but he is so busy, he's having to rush off to a big show tonight. So it's just a quick hello and goodbye. Thank you so much, brother, for coming down. I hope one day I do get you into here to have a proper interview. I'm so amazed, I'm so proud, and I've been watching every step of your journey. Thank you, I'm man. so, so proud. Thank you so much for thank even you. giving me five seconds of your time. Mr. Important, say thank you, guys. Poop, 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 poop. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, baby. Right, thank you. Later, you. But you know what? Not all is lost. I have the most amazing guy right here with me tonight. Mumsy, let's go. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? I'm going to have to cook tonight. I mean, whole season I haven't cooked. Do you, can you cook, by the way? Of course I can cook. What do you mean? I could cook anything. So I, like, look, I'm no good at Asian food, so this is a first for me. I don't even know what I'm cooking, so you know what, I'm going to call in the chef. Mr. Chef, Hello. let's come down. Sorry. What are we cooking today? Uh, today we have uh, two dishes. You uh, made it easy for me, Chef. Yes, I because, have actually. You know... I have got it ready for you. <laughs> yeah? So, yeah. Oh. So we have the lamb chops, which is a classic, uh, with ginger. Ooh, and nice. then we have the creamy chicken. Just okay. with the cream and yogurt and spices. And so you're going to have to help me out and cook it for not me tonight, problem. Chef. I'll do that. Go because I'm, I'm so interested in what Mumsy's doing, so I'm not interested <laughs> in cooking. It's all about him. <laughs> not a problem. Okay, Let's so what's that. his first step tonight? The first step, he has to marinate the lamb chops, which mm. are here. Mm. So we have some uh, chili, ginger, garlic, red chili powder, and some uh, pepper and uh, garam masala. Have you ever Marinate? cooked chops, no? I have cooked chops. You have? Yeah. You have, you have. Okay. Same, similar ingredients. Do? So well, after that, he's just going to seal that in a pan. And straight in the oven nice. for 10 minutes. Okay, perfect. All right, well, then get some marinated in your simple. chops. Thank you, Chef. We'll no come for you later. Right, so, Mumsy, what has right. been going on with you? Let's put your gloves on because you need right, to marinate. Yeah, put, so, what's, to. what's been going on with you? What, what, um, I mean, you've yeah, been doing man. so much. You've been working with so many people. And it's funny enough, I, the first time I met you was at the Gets launch, a wasn't it? A yeah. Rude Kid launch. Yeah. So since then, I mean, that's when was that? That's like that was, a year uh, ago? Yeah, about a yeah, year ago. Yeah, just about a year ago. So what's been happening since? Do you know what? I've just been working on uh, new music, new yeah. artists, uh, working on my own stuff. So just, I've just been bringing through artists, you know, yeah. new, new guy, Nish, Nish. Uh, who's been coming through. Somebody so. else spoke to him on one of our other episodes. I can't remember who was it who spoke about him, but yeah, I've heard a lot about him. He's coming through. Yeah. Um, been working on my own music finally because I've been working on so many different artists in the past yeah. couple of years. But it's it's difficult because I produce and I sing. Yeah. I do my own thing. Now so. hold on, you're like multi talented, like yeah. producer, singer, songwriter, songwriter, rapper, rapper so. as well, rapper. Okay, so I mean, how do you weigh that up? I mean, how do you do? everything at the same time. I mean, you must go into the studio and feel like, I want to do the whole thing, just leave me to it. <laughs> yeah, do you know what, I do, that's the thing, but it's difficult being an artist and a producer. Yeah. I prefer producing for other artists. Yeah. And, I, um, I, and I like working with producers for my own stuff. So okay. that's how it balances out. But you know what, you can get lost in it. Sometimes there's a full reggae, R&B, so reggae track, or Bashment verses, and yeah. then there's R&B, so then there's a whole mashup of, uh, Asian fusion, urban stuff. So, see now, mad, I keep man. hearing this word Asian fusion. Yeah, it's like Asians fuse their music with anything they like. Basically. Is that is that true? Well, yeah. Well, look at look at it like Despacito. So you, yeah. it's, it's like you got the language, yeah. but then the productions could be anything. So it yeah. could be it could be um, you know uh, hip hop. Yeah. It could be reggaeton. And when you put the language on it, that's what makes the fusion. Makes so, the, yeah, it gives the medicine Yeah, because the, right? the original <laughs> sounds are not, it's not hip hop, is it? It's no, that's more, right. It's more like world music. I think that's probably the same as uh, UKG artists, a UK garage artists. When I came through with Soul Solid, we made 
the new sound of Garage. We managed to put hip hop lyrics on Garage beats. Exactly. And that's what made the Soul Solid sound. So I understand the fusion. But yeah. it's incredible what you guys are doing. It really is. Why do you think there's not a lot of Asian artists that have crossed completely over into the commercial um, world of the UK sound? Um, do you know what? It's, it's probably, like I said, again, it's, it's to do with the platforms, isn't it? Yeah. So once you know you have a platform elsewhere, you think, okay, so what's the point of putting it you know, yeah. over here. That's yeah. why you get so many different radio stations. But I think right now, everything's just... Fu like, everything's just Fusing together. Yeah, cross-connecting. Yeah. You know, no one cares no more. If they feel a track, they'll play it. They'll play it. If yeah, it's popular, that's true. it's popular. So yeah. I, don't, I don't think everyone, anyone's even watching that anymore yeah. right now. So Come on, get to yeah. mixing, because you <laughs> cool. need to cook these chops for me. I'm let's do it. hungry. <laughs> so, all right, let's do so this. So what's let's your favourite aspect of music? I mean, what's, what's your favourite aspect? I mean, you, you, you produce, you songwrite, you... You sing, you rap. What is your favourite part? And, you know. um, do you know what? My favourite, I prefer, I think, the artist side of it. I don't mind, um, you know, I, I like performing and stage and stuff like that. So That's is that great. the favourite part? I mean, not making the track, writing the track. It's the actual performance when they, you know, get on live on stage. That's one part. But yeah. when, when, when you're producing, that's another part. So, you know, when you make a sick beat <laughs> and you hear that first I don't. Beat. I wish I could sometimes. I'm like, I'm sure I can make this beat because I really know what I want to sing on, but it's, I don't know how to make it. <laughs> do you know what? It's actually not even that deep, honestly. Yeah. You know, as soon as you get an idea, it's a loop or something that. running, yeah. you know, ah, oh, yeah, this is heavy, but... You don't know where it's going to go, and I think that's exciting. So where did you get all this talent from? I mean, was you from a musical background? Was you the only one in your clique it's that funny. was music? Or did you have, like, a load of friends around you growing up that were all music orientated? My background, so I'm from East London, yeah. Plasto. My background, I, w I used to work starting nasty crew, so... It was oh, of course, me, yeah. Storming. There you go. Ah, <laughs> come on, so you had a me, bunch of talented friends. Storming, Sharky Major... Uh, when, uh, Marcus, we yeah. all used to work together. Um, I used to rap in a reggaeton. Like, so how you know, did you end up in R&B? So I used to rap in Patwa, so you know Supercut? That's who I, no that's who I listen to, that's my vibe. Give me a, give me a, give me a small... A small... Do you want me to rap something? Yes, give me right. something. Really, yeah? Yeah. Go. Girl, you look so reserved. Turn around, I'm gonna make your body burn. Oh man, it's your turn, the big side join. Feeling a gal, man, you deserve. Bounce to the with them gal, it's undress. That is stress, no need feel to impress. You're my empress, gal, it's past the first test. Cause it's time for me to ascend. Jesus Christ, make some noise in the <laughs> studio! Jesus Christ! Wow, like this is like, I got a fusion of Sean Paul, I got that a fusion vibe. of Supercat. I, it was like, wow, that is just like mind blown. So how comes you've endorsed all this talent all alone and is it, is it just you that's doing it now or have you still stuck with the friends like Storming and everyone else? Nah, do you know what? So I started off with obviously the UK Garage at that time. It was pretty new. I worked with uh, Storming and Sharky back in the day, but yeah. I just ended up somehow through Rishi Rich. In 2005, ah. I got signed to Rishi when Jay, Jaggy, everyone was rolling. Yeah. Rishi picked me up at a show and literally I just connected with Rishi and through yeah. Rishi I just met a completely different, you know, audience. And yeah. I ended up doing both. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I was doing my stuff, what I know, what I grew up with in East London yeah. and then Bangra music, you know, mixing the two Jeez, together. And everything together. So worked with Rishi all the way up until um, 2010. And it's funny, like, worked with Still Bangles in 2010 on my album. A Wiley was on my album, yeah. I had Getz on it, Dot Rotten, Getz is my boy. From, yeah. So that's how I know everyone. So I kind of, it's always been one or the other. So, yeah. And it just became, from 2010 onwards, it just became international. So. And have you written for anyone else? Like, like, you know, not told the story, but I wrote that. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I produced quite a lot for mm. a lot of, uh, you know, the background production. But yeah. most of the writing I've kept for my, my own stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't really... Get and you love there. collaborations. I, I mean, do, I do. how can you like get so many places, like so many different artists? Do you know what I like? Talent, like I said, because I produce yeah. naturally. When you're producing, you end up looking, listening to other vocals, and appreciate other talents. And mm. I think because because I got my own studio and I listen to a lot of artists, I appreciate that. So mm. I want to kind of bring them through. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm all about doing my own thing, but at the same time, I want to bring talent through. Before I answer this next question, we need to bring in the chef to yes. see how you're doing. How's he doing? How's he doing? He's doing really well. So uh, just need to mix it up. 
Okay. Just add a little bit of pepper and garam masala in there. Okay. All right. Just hey, not too much Perfect. pepper. I can't take it. That's, that's, right. that's, that's, that's enough. You got to handle the spices, masala. Lisa. I can't. I'm like. Trust me. I'm the most British girl you're ever gonna meet. You're <laughs> gonna to have to change that now. That's it. <laughs> we have to change that. So, so mix uh, it thank now. you, chef. Thank you. Mix oh, it, yeah. let's get mixing. All right. While I ask you, why do you? I mean, why do you collaborate with so many new artists? What What strives you to do that? Do you know what? I appreciate talents because I spend most of my time in the studio away from... If I'm not on tour, then I'm in studio. And if I'm on tour, I take a studio with me, a portable studio. So the way <laughs> really? I see it is, yeah, 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 I appreciate new talent. Like, I think that's a part of producing. Yeah. So once I do that, you know, I feel like, do you know what? When someone isn't popular and they're hungry, I just feel like breaking them through, you, man. Yeah, you want to help. Yeah, I just want to put them out and not even claim it. Is it a nice them. position to be in, to be able to help? It is. And that's because you probably, is that because you put the work in or? Yeah, do you know what? It's put the work in, but also, you know, like I remember the way I started and the way I see it, if I never had people around to help me, yeah. then, you know, I wouldn't be where, I wouldn't be where I am. So that, they, if I can help someone, I'm not trying to claim them as an artist, but naturally, if you're responsible for something, yeah. it's always a and good thing. And who do you give your credit to that actually helped you from the very beginning that's you know made you who you are today? There's, a, there's quite a few to name, because obviously mm. from, from, my, from back in the day, um, you know, I remember Andre and DM Cut from X-Men Records. Wow. I don't know if you remember them. That is them. old school. <laughs> I, so, they, they taught me a lot, Andre yeah. and, uh, and DM Cut, and then moving on to... Do you have still contact with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Wow. Oh, They're moving on to Rishi Rich, who just, yeah. I have to prop him, man. If it yeah. weren't for Rishi, then I wouldn't have not understood about my roots and yeah. where, 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 where that industry lies at. And then moving on from Rishi to like people like Still Bangles, Wiley, Getz, you know, people like that who supported me when I, went, when I needed it the most. So mm. there's so many people to mention. My team right now, Lion, who's a young producer, remember heard, that name? Yeah, I've heard about and, him and too. Nish, yeah, and my team, and you know, Nish, so. yeah. Watch out for them, man. Seriously, awesome. there's so many to mention. Well, maybe, hopefully, we'll get them on the show one day. And as right. this is the finale, I'm going to get involved over here. I think you should. I am, I am. I'm going to bring it over closer to you. Can't be lazy, so can, Lisa, I'm, man. I'm not going to be lazy, I'm not. This is all marinated for me already. But why we do this, you're almost done, aren't you? You're yep. almost done, you're uh, fired up. I think it looks good. You're going to get it. Uh, chef, what, yes. what's, next for, what's next for Mumsy? What he's going to do is the pan will get hot, and yeah. then he can just pan fry them. A okay, nice colour on both the sides. Oh, do you want that off? Yeah, right, right. You want that help. one off? You don't so need that Mac one. There you off, go. You know. Boom. That's history Get right rid there. Of that. <laughs> That's history right there. And if you want the recipes for what we're cooking today, you can go to www. BritAsia.tv and that's where you can find all of our recipes from the whole season. So, right, what have I got to do? Because I ain't done this all season, you know. Shall I put this on now? Yes, you can. I think you can, can. yeah, yes, I think stop. you can. So, what am I doing? Yes, what am so I doing? Do do that that get the chicken. Can you okay, wait, I, okay. Yeah, sure, okay. Show you one. Well, should I, should, I fold, should I fold it up, down, up, down? Yes, there are. Okay, you know yeah, that. I know what you I'm know doing. Come on, tell me. Yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing Perfect. this. I'm fully involved. Right, where am I placing That's this? Yeah, That's enough. You're placing it here. I'm placing it on there. Perfect. Oh, God, thank God, thing. The it all. thank God the chef is here, because I wouldn't know what I'm doing. Man. How many years has this been in the industry? Me, me, I've been in there. Yeah. I would say easily 15 years, man. 15 years? Yeah, so you've time. seen the transition from the internet babies to the non-internet baby. Absolutely. Right? CDs, cassettes. <laughs> Not as, much, not as much as you, like, I, I yeah, grew up I listening to you guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, and I, I, take that. I, I, I listen to you guys, you know what I mean? And that's what inspired us. We came from Pirate Radio 100%, Station, right? 100%, I know that. So, so you've seen it, you've seen the transition, the change of yeah. the industry. How much do you think it's actually changed? A lot, you know, think about it. And affected music, I mean, is it affected music for you? It is, but the thing is, you got to look at it like this, from cassettes to CDs to... I swear there was a flop, like, mini disc didn't even work. Oh Don't, my god. Yeah, remember? MP3 and yeah. mini disc. Yeah, yeah and then straight, that straight into MP3. That was no good. <laughs> nah, it didn't even work. And now streaming, like, we're in a completely we different, are a different, different league world, now. you know? Do you think, like, record sales have been affected by that? Obviously, piracy always affects the sales, but I, like I said, because they've created streaming, it hasn't, it's kind of balanced out. So I think where you're losing out on a record sale, I think we're not even there no more. Right now, no. you've got, like, YouTube, you've got Spotify, you've got so many different platforms and I think this whole digital scene has taken over. Yeah. I think people get caught up in it. Do you think it's good or bad for us though? Um, I think because it's good, Because I'm man. feeling the effect of it because mm. where, how we used to sell a record is literally mm. 
pull it out. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> and, but it's the same. Pull it out. I think... It is, but you get the judgment before you even try it. You true, know, straight away true. they'll tell you, we hate this record, you know. Yeah. And it, it does change your perception of what you're making. Yeah, Do you no, think I it sways you, yeah. artists? Do you know what? I, I think the way, done, got, the way you got to see it is it's a platform. It's yeah. a different platform. I think that, don't you know, rather than... Do the iTunes, you know, do the Amazon, do everything. Mm. But I think right now, just take advantage of it. Look at it as that, you know, where you had two, now you got ten. Yeah, so that's so true. your music just goes different places quicker, you know? Yeah. So you've got to kind of have that mentality. It's a lot more work. So where you kind of got two things to worry about, now you've got to worry about, okay, you know what, I know I've got to go there, 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 there. So yeah. it, it's, it's cool, man. I just think see it as platforms rather than... What would be your message for upcoming talent now? At the moment, if you've got music, don't sit on it, put it up. Honestly, it's that simple, straight up, isn't it? Don't sit on it. If you, you know, sitting on it and trying to make it and perfect it. Mm. I'm not saying just put out anything, but right now a lot of people don't even know how they sound. Like, and, you know, if you're talking to yourself every day, you are, yeah, this sick, you know, yes, man's I call them. You know, <laughs> sitting in the studio. <laughs> yeah, my beat yeah, is sick. Yeah, I love sick. it. Yeah, no, I'm, can't, be, I'm sick, but no one can't that. hear it. No, you can't do that. You got to send it out there. And you know, you got so many different Try platforms the that yeah. are there. So see, get some sort of quality control in it, mm. but put it out and see how it goes, man. You yeah. know, there's so much talent out there, you've got platforms, just use it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Thing, oh, man. I love that. Yeah, I man. absolutely love that. <laughs> so who you got your eye on? I mean, there's hundreds, I mean, notes and Retchfee 2 and Chipmunk. So and many. There's so many there's in so the many. industry now that are incredible. Um, Abracadabra. Uh, there's just a, there's just a so real of names and it? it gets me so confused because there's so many. Who have you got your eye on and you think, wow, they're incredible? Do you know what? I'm loving everyone right now. Do you know one person I, I can connect to maybe, you know, I can connect to Jay Huss. Yeah. I think he's got a really cool, you know, his stuff is hard and it's soft. Yeah, yeah. It, For the it, girls, it's both, but it's got that you know? edge. But yeah. then look, look at the Steel Bangles track, man. That yeah. they just, he just released it now. Most like it's got a little melodic vibe on it. So, but now, yeah. honestly, like, I'm feeling... I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling Getz always because he's just... I, I love his bars, man. For you me, Getz is my the most guy. incredible Getz, UK talent. He's just, brilliant. He's, the performances he puts on, yeah. forget the music, his performance alone sells it. Next level, isn't it? Next so, yeah, level. There's so many to mention, man, honestly. Like, but at the moment, I think... Who's your favourite at the moment? Who's my favourite in that scene right now? Artist. It's hard to say, man, honestly. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to keep... I'm going to... I love Paige Cakey. I think Page oh, Cake is hard. We love that. Yeah, I'm gonna big Page Cake up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, do, I'm oh, gonna big Page Cake up. I think I heard Page Cake once at a show. Yeah. It was at the same show, and I was like, yeah. wow. Wow. She's different, yeah. man. You know, I think she's got a good vibe. There isn't actually many UK women in the industry, no. um, and they're not really making that much impact, are they? No. Um, what do you think that is? Do you think what do you think that is? You know what? I don't. I, I know it's a male-dominated industry. Mm. You know, it's it's the same everywhere. But I don't even think it's that. I just think that women. You know, just take maybe take a little bit more longer to do something or think about it, or maybe it's just the fact that there ain't that many there ain't enough women doing it, man. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, true. Have you it's thought of it like that? It was the same when I started. Not everyone was that Lisa. There was three or four. <laughs> there was three or four girls. Yeah. I mean, we had Mystique, Dynamite. Yeah. And myself, literally, Kelly LaRock and Shola Amma were a little bit before and they weren't UKG. So there was nobody representing. It was tough. It was really tough to stand alone, you of know? Course. And I hope there is a few more coming through. I've asked quite a few people through the season, why do you think there isn't a lot of Asian women representing in the yeah. UKG, or, so UKG, the UK talent in yeah. a whole? Why do you think that's not happening? Um, again, you know what? Like, I think the females... Um, I don't think it's not that they're not allowed or anything like that. Maybe certain cultures don't allow it. I'll be mm. straight up. Yeah. Some cultures are just not happening. Really? You know, not in a not in a bad way. They're just not used to it. Right. Do you know okay. What I mean? um, but honestly, I think it's more to do with females think too much about what they want to do. Do you know, like in that yeah. scene, like ah. Oh. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah. No, I will say. I'll say. It. <laughs> I actually don't. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, Lisa? No, you, I know you. Mean. You, 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 you. I grew up you, like you, a boy. You, you, <laughs> but you know what? The amount of people you inspire, though, like it's it's uh, good. And hence Thank why I'm you. telling you, like, yeah. how I feel, like, females shouldn't feel like that, you know? Yeah, I, I, I always believe that the best way out. forward is to just crack on, do what you've got to do, take the, take the criticism as a, as a lesson yeah. and, and just ride it through. Yeah, man, it's, it's all about the music. Like, honestly, like, if you go for it and don't think too much about it, people will eventually jump on it. So, are we ready to chase this, Chef? Yes. Come back in, are we what done we do here? Is, well, I got cooked we'll do is, we'll put that in the oven. Yeah. 
10 minutes. 10 minutes in like, oh, you're putting that in the oven yes. for 10 minutes. Perfect. Let's, I was about to take a bite out of that right now. <laughs> Do you want to take that over to the oven? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's put that in the oven. So you're used it, to yeah? cooking, aren't you? Yeah. Do you are you always cooking Asian food? Is that this one, yeah? Oh, that one, Chef? This yes, one? on the top, right? yes. Okay. All right. Don't want to burn myself. Nice, nice, nice. Careful, careful. Are you used to cooking, cooking Asian food then? Yeah, yeah, do you know what? I can cook, I can cook like pretty much yeah. anything. Like any, anything, I'm a bit, I, I experiment. So what's your favourite dish to cook for your lady on a, on a date? Oh, right. <laughs> what, what do I like cooking? Do you know what? There's something that she loves, which is, it's, I think it's like more of a Moroccan dish. Oh, really? So it's what's like, it called? Um, they call it poulet. Poulet. Yeah, so it's like it a French. Sound very nice. French. Yeah, I know French. That's what they call chicken. And what is it? Oh, of course. Poulet. So. Duh. <laughs> see? But yeah, so it's like I think it's a weird one. So it's grilled chicken, but it's got a weird like tangy, lemony kind Do of. Do you like it? You I love it. Like... Oh, you love it? Yeah, okay. It's really and tasty. you can cook it. Yeah, Moroccan wow. spices. I went to Morocco and I learned how to. I just asked around, like, "What is this, man? We tasted it there. Learned how to cook it. Came back. What my one came out better. Nice. Yeah, man. Boom. All day. Oh, we're good. We're good to go. Right, tasting time. Let's do this. Wow, that looks pretty. That looks pretty good. That is hot, but it looks pretty good. It is mine good, almost finished? Yes, now, it's ready. Oh, we're it's gonna ready. Plate it in a, Perfect. In a minute. So we're gonna taste yours and mine at the same oh. time. Don't touch that dish because it's really hot. As I said, if you want any of the recipes from this season, you can get them on BritAsia.tv. Every single recipe that we've cooked this whole season will be on there. To check it out. <laughs> so, okay, what are you serving up? That looks this decent. Is the, this presentation is on point. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I must say. Oh, that one, that one, that, that one, one, that one. Yeah, that one looks good. Lisa's is already picking. Yeah, her. yeah, I'm picking. That's my one. That's my one. That's my one. All right, here we go. Wait, should I should I dish up mine? Oh wait, hold on, wait. I've got to I've got to get stuck in as well. Let's get your one ready. Okay, I'm not great at things like this, but. That side it looks hard. Okay. Okay, so what is this again, mm -hmm. Chef? That's the uh, creamy chicken. Creamy chicken. Also called chicken. as uh, Malai chicken. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get another one on here mm -hmm. like that. That one looks I'm good. As get well. the last one on top there. Presentation is key, Mumsy. Shall I put them all on there? Yeah. If you want to. Hello. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, Presentation. Look at that. Look at that. Let's do it. Fine art that so is. Have we got a cloth here to move this dish, Chef? Yes. Okay. So look, that whole oh, leaf's coming oh, off. Oh, wait, 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 I can help you. No, yeah, we can't. Over. There you go. <laughs> I've done it. Here that you looks go. great. Decent. Look at that. Wow. Here okay, go, chef. We, need some, we need some forks here. Yes. Let's right. Do it. I'm ready. I'm so hungry. How do you have chops like, with a fork? I don't know. Yeah, just, question, I right? think you should just. I, me? Me? Because I'm a foodie? I'll pick just that grab up. it straight. Just pick that up. I think that. This Cheers. Is the best Cheers, Mumsy. Cheers. Cheers. Dug in. Mm. We are really good. We are really good. Oh my god. That's nice, man. Oh my god, well done. Oh, oh wow. my god, that is so good. I hope mine tastes as good as this. Mmm. I just wet. That is mm. so nice. That is so nice. It's so rich in flavour. Oh. It's soft. I think well. that's the best all season. Right, try mine. I'm nice. gonna get one of the rings. Look. Mm. Mm. Oh. I'll oh. grab that one. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Cheers. Here you go. Mmm. Oh my god, it's got like a barbecue taste. That's nice. Oh my god, I've just put so much in my mouth. You usually just eat the whole thing. That is incredible. This is a bit different, this one. Oh my god, this is nice. You like it? Very really nice. Oh oh I god. don't understand what you're saying. You don't you're have meant to, to eat the food and then No, talk. no. Mm -mm. I can't. We haven't got time. Tell everybody at home where we can find everything about you. Right. Music and social media. Tell you, us all. YouTube, Mums a Stranger Music. Um, Instagram, Twitter, at Mums a Stranger. Snapchat, I am Mumsy. Whoop! And that's it. Just Simple like that. Facebook, Mumsy Music. Let's go. Thank you, everybody, for keeping it locked this entire season. And thank you, Mumsy, for welcome. joining me. Thanks it's been me. absolutely incredible. The food is delicious. I'm going to take it on. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you next season for Certified Booyah! <laughs> Peace! Certified, sponsored by ISO It First.